When the Timur built the new Samarkand, all the four main streets of Samarkand were crossed under this square. And Registan, as you know, it's, a, it's the meaning of uh, place of sand. None of these buildings were at the time when Timur built this square. The square was used for the trade by Timur. And also, whenever Timur decided to make a war campaign, he gathered his army here. Whenever he came back from the war campaign, he brought the army here. Everybody re uh, re received, received its share, and from here they were dismissed. Now, Registan Square is the composition of three madrasas. The first madrasa, Uluk Beg Madrasa, his grandson, 1420. Uh, Uluk Beg is a famous astronomer. That's the reason why on the top of the portal there are stars. Top of the entrance there are stars. Uh, in the 17th century there was a terrible earthquake which really damaged the, this madrasa. Second floor of this madrasa did not survive, but in the Soviet time it was beautifully restored. By the time when Ulukbek built this madrasa, in front of the madrasa, at that time, in the 15th century, there was a big caravan sarai, the hotel for the caravans. Uh, instead, of, uh, instead of this building in the front, there was a big hamma, death house. And here there were two mosques. In the 17th century, the government of Samarkand removed those buildings and uh, instead of Karavansara, he built this madrasa. The name of the madrasa is Sherdor, which means carrying lines. It's quite difficult in Central Asia to see any places with the, with the images of living creatures. But in the 17th century, there was the influence of Iran. That's the reason why we see the tiger, lines, and the sun with the human face. So, Shirdar, carrying lines. They say line, but they look like a tiger. And the, mo the building on the opposite, it's called Tilakari, which means decorated with gold. Actually, this was built as a mosque, as a holiday mosque, and the top part of the dome was not finished originally. It was finished only in the Soviet time, decorated with gold. If you go under this dome, straight and take the left under the dome, the main part of the mosque is decorated with gold. This is how the name comes. So twice a year and every Friday it was used as a mosque, and on the other days, it was used as a madrasa. So this square is still popular, famous. Any place in the world is Uzbekistan taking place on the international touristic exhibition. You see this, saying welcome to Uzbekistan. And once in a two years, on this square, we organize international music festival. Shark Taranalare, which means Eastern music. Has Shakira performed here? <laughs> Next time. So, so you go to Ulukbek. Inside the Ulukbek Madrasa, at the end, there is beautiful museum devoting to the life of Ulukbek. And the second worth seeing thing is under this big dome with golden moss. Please take your time. You have 45 minutes. So we are at a beautiful square, like you, like uh, like the guide explained, that this is the most picturesque place of Uzbekistan. And whenever Uzbekistan is referred in any international magazine, convention, or an exhibition, they, the identity of Uzbekistan is by this particular structure. It is beautiful. The climate is great. It's very cold. It's around 11 degrees. Bright sun, and we are having a good time and a very wonderfully created square. So this is the square where Timur used to gather his army before a battle and after every victory. This is Agnelo Rajesh from Samarkand, Uzbekistan. Bye. Thank you. India. Please don't waste.